Hey there, everyone, and thank you for being here. We're on Lesson 236. I rule my mind, which I alone must rule. I have a kingdom I must rule. That would be my mind, of course, all my collection of thoughts. At times, it does not seem I'm a king at all, or a queen, or anything else. In other words, this kingdom is where I put my attention. And it just seems to triumph over me and tell me what to think and what to do and what to feel. Things seems like the thoughts are just automatic and powerful and I don't have any choice about it. And yet, it has been given me to serve whatever purpose I perceive in it. In other words, my mind is about serving. My mind can only serve. So today, I give the service of my mind or my kingdom to the Holy Spirit, to love, to joy, to expansion, to helpfulness, to employ as it sees fit, as he, she sees fit, as my right mind <laughs> sees fit. And I thus direct my mind, which I alone can rule. I decide where I want my attention. And thus, I set it free to do the will of God, which, of course, is my will as well. So then the little prayer that says, Father, my mind is open to your thoughts and closed today to every thought but yours. In other words, I want to engage in loving thoughts and expansive thoughts. I rule my mind, and I offer it to you. So accept my gift, accept my devotion, accept my choice to be as I am, because this gift is yours to me. And if I don't do this, if I do not offer my service to my right mind, which is thus to everything and everyone else, I'm going to feel small and scared and imprisoned. Okay, remember, I'm in charge of what's important to me, and the mind itself doesn't get to have a vote. I have the vote. Boy, I hope that makes sense. This is a wonderful lesson. I rule my mind, which I alone must rule. No one else can override whatever my choice might be. I hope you have a lovely day remembering your power, your glory, all the gifts that you have, and put them into use. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye.